December. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch me. Hey, Rebecca Moore. Fairy tale. We are watching episode 80, Key of Hope, which we are in Edelis. It has been kind of wild, kind of crazy. You found out that there's like alternate versions of everybody here and that Urza is actually a fairy hunter. So I'm excited to watch this with you all. Keep in mind, if you want to see my reaction to the next two episodes early, or if you just want to help support the channel, it would really mean a lot to me. You can go to my Patreon page, link down in the description below to get access to all that fun stuff over there. But without further ado, let's get started. Mm -hmm. You're saying you guys are from another world called Earthland? And you came mm -hmm. all the way here to try and save your friends. Yeah. You're telling me there's a fairy tale guild in your world too? And mm -hmm. Urza is actually one of your allies there? You mm -hmm. seem to be surprised. That's a pretty tall tale. It sounds crazy. Crazy. That said, this is definitely not the Natsu we know. He does look a lot like him though. <laughs> why is she looking at him like that? Why is she doing this? She, why is she weird in every world? Oh, she bothers me. Girl, is the other world's me? Uh Hi. Well, she's a pipsqueak version of our Wendy. Aww. I hate to interrupt, but could someone tell us how to get to the royal city? <sighs> Your king was the one who pulled our friends into this world, and now we have to save them. Otherwise, they're going to be converted into magic power. But I think it's best if you forget him. <laughs> Anyone who would defy the king of Edelus is as good as dead. Oh, my gosh. He has a mighty army at his beck and call. There's only so much magic power in our world. There's not much left of it. It won't yeah. be too long before we've completely run out. King's greatest fear, so he tries to keep all of the magic power for himself. Does he? God, I love Gray. Can we, seriously, can we bring this Gray home with us? He's such an improvement. <laughs> our guild is the only one left. And it's not like we escaped unscathed. We've lost half of our comrades to the royal army. And our master. We've got our hands full master. just trying to stay safe. I'd stay away from the king if I were you guys. Go back to your world while you still can. I ain't afraid of your king. <sighs> we gotta get our friends back and save the day! Girl. Girl. What is your conniption? Why are you so weird in every world? I love you. I don't know why, but I do. You're just so weird. Just speak, communicate clearly. Speak that giant lacrima? It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yes, I saw it when I arrived. It has the magic power of tens of thousands of Earthland people. Oh my gosh. Which I've been told is the equivalent of about okay. 100 wizards. What difference does it make? All that matters is it's totally awesome. <laughs> This is Hughes, captain of the Royal Army's third magic warfare unit. Oh. This is Sugar Boy, captain of the Royal Army's fourth magic warfare unit. Oh. And this is Urza Nightwalker, captain of the second magic warfare unit as the fairy hunter. When will you wipe out the fairy tale guild? Byron. You don't want to tarnish the name fairy hunter. This is Byro, chief of staff of the Edelers Royal Army. Fairy Tale is the only magical guild that's not been disbanded. No need to rush the lady. The day the goddess tells the fairies is close at hand. But those fairies don't stand a chance against her. They're toast, you'll see. <laughs> Look how supportive her fellow comrades are. Aw, how good for her. I can't stand the sound of it. It grates oh. my He's nerves. A literal panther. This is Panther Lily. Captain of the Edelus Royal Army's first magic warfare unit. Oh. You always walk around acting like you're so much better than the rest of us. Well, guess again. You'd be wise to watch your mouth. Hmm. You're in a foul mood. It seems he's displeased by the recent increase in armament. Well, as a military man himself, he should be elated. But our kingdom has nearly unified the entire world. I have to admit, I don't see any reason for us to further build our arsenal either. Well, Panther Lily, don't worry, you're doing a great job! Would you guys speak in plain English for once? I don't understand a thing you're saying. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! I've just been told that we'll be able to extract magic power from the giant lacrima in four days' time. Let's get yes. This young lady is Coco, Assistant Chief of Staff of the Royal Army. Oh. It's not enough. It's not? <gasps> that sounds like Master. <gasps> is it Master? It sounds like Master. I said it's not going to be enough, Coco. With all due respect, Your Majesty, our calculations suggest that it's actually quite the opposite. It should be more than enough to keep our kingdom supplied for the next ten years. I will be satisfied until my kingdom of Edelus is free from all restrictions. There's only one way that can happen in order to be free. What we need 
is a source of everlasting magic power. This power-hungry man is Faust, the king oh. of Evelus. Okay. I guess it's not Master. Same voice actor, just not him. A real Jalal situation, but not actually Jalal. How much longer is it going to take us to get to the capital? We just left and you're already asking me that? They said it'll take five days to walk. Five days? Do you think we'll ever be able to use our magic again? I wish I knew. This certainly doesn't bode well for us. <laughs> ah, oh, hey, you want to lend me a hand here? I've Not never too. seen a frog like this before. <laughs> <laughs> Natsu, I need you to stop forgetting you can't use your magic. Come on, boy. You're kind of helpless even with your magic. Oh! Granted, she did use that little like hurricane thing and it was really cool, but Wendy is still learning. So, you know. Oh. Other Lucy. Thank you, Scary Lucy. I am scary to my name. It's rude. You think something that big would have put up a fight? May I ask what brings you here? Uh, I, I wasn't worried about you, just so we're clear. Oh, she's a little soonary. Thanks a lot. Hang on, what's that supposed to mean? There's the attitude we all know and love. <laughs> I wonder what kind of reaction the real one would have. Stay out like I'm the fake one. You, you are. Technique number twelve. Oh, boys. Already. Oh god. Please don't be Jalal. Mass people make me very scared. Cloaked individuals. Cut it off to some crazy place like this. Oh, yeah. you are here. Just my luck. God, Jill. I was wondering. Because I was like, that's weird that God, Jill is gone. But like, these two stuck around? Oh, cool. I'm so glad God, Jill's here. That's why everyone was surprised when we told them we were friends. Guess she's just as scary here as she is back at home. Well, I don't know what she's like in your world, but it's hard for us to believe she'd ever align herself with Fairy Tail. There's not a <laughs> wizard in Edelus who isn't afraid of her. When you see her face, you're as good as dead. She's scary enough already. The city's down there. <gasps> Thank goodness it felt like we were never gonna make it here. It's all very round, isn't it? Thank you for coming with us, Lucy. Aww. Sure. You're gonna need some magic weaponry, otherwise you're not gonna be able to make it very far. It's scary, Lucy! You guys are cruising for a bruising! This is the city of Lowen. Oh. Wow, everything's so round. Not long ago that you could buy and sell magic here just like anything else. The royal army started hunting down guilds and now buying and selling magic is strictly forbidden. Mm, What's even worse sense. is that just possessing it is a crime. What about people who've always been able to use it? Something very familiar about all this. Merlin. If you have magic, you just have to get rid of it or else you'll get busted or worse. Oh. I could be mistaken, but it seems as if magic spells are treated like objects in this world. The fact that magic is finite here means there aren't any wizards who happen to have innate magical power, like we do. It's stored within objects like lacrima. They then combine hmm. these objects with weapons, or daily necessities, in order to create okay. magical items. There's a black market for magic just down the stairwell. Guess we might as well play by this world's rules for Do using we magic. Really have money though? Meanwhile, another Earthwind wizard has appeared in Edelus, making his way through the same city of Luin. Where am I supposed to go from here? Aww. Well, I guess I'll just have to start asking around. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about it. Is Gajo gonna get his own little, like, cat as well here? Mind if I ask you something? That'd be amazing. Get back here! I hope Gajo gets his cat. La 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 la. <laughs> oh, hey. There's always some clowns who can be convinced to help you. Okay, good luck. Step off, you lousy horsefly! You've got a lot to learn about insults, pal. Seriously, guys, the trash talk is embarrassing. Does Gajil know he can't use his magic yet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's it! You want a piece of me? <laughs> Listen, a giant lacrima should have popped up somewhere around here recently. So start talking! I don't know where it is! Then let me jog your memory. Uh, oh, please don't hit me! We really don't know, I swear, right? You're off the hook. Now go get lost. Uh, How in the heck did you get so strong all of a sudden? Oh. I never took you for the kind of guy who'd go around picking fights with people. They must be talking about some of their version of me and Ed. Yeah, interesting. I'm not him. We just look alike, okay? 
Come on, you look exactly like the guy. He's one of them freelance journalists and has a reputation for being way too nosy. Journalist. A journalist? He's a real busybody, so no one in town can stand him. Oh. This guy's yields a freelance journalist. Better get the scoop on him. Okay, um, good luck. That's so weird that he's a journalist. I kind of like it, though. It's different and unique. We still need to meet the Natsu of this world. Excuse me, mister. You got any fire magic? I think I may have just what you're looking for. Glad to see this old man again. This magic sealed flame sword. You just put this in here and... Voila! Pretty cool, huh? Better than nothing. What hmm. a keen eye you have, sir. Pretty little gizmos called an air cliff cannon. All you have to do is pull these two pieces apart to open it and then watch it work its magic. Oh. Oh, wow, it's wind magic. This will be perfect for me. What a keen eye you have, miss. Okay, oh. I'll take both of them. Money? Together they'll cost you 20000 but I'll knock the price down to eighteen just because I like you. How does that sound? Oh, thanks. Expensive. Well, these items are incredibly hard to come by, sir. Probably should have asked this first. Yeah. Do you have any money? <laughs> what would make you think that we have any money? That's not funny, jerk! Being bossed around is kind of a nice change. Hey, is there something wrong? Okay, fine. Being bossed around, Lucy! Girl! My shop would be closed if you hadn't helped me when the Royal Army searched it. Come on, that was no big deal. I was just lending you a hand. I would be delighted if you take them as a present from me. Oh, you sure. Thanks, I really appreciate it. No, well, free items for us. That's more dependable than the Lucy we're stuck with, don't you think? I told you to drop this scary furball. Happy? I swear, one of these days. No. You need to be nice to Lucy. If you guys wouldn't mind, I'd like to hear a little more about this other Lucy of yours. <laughs> Oh. You're certainly just as obnoxious as she is. Don't call me obnoxious! Don't go pulling that out in public! Like I told you, magic is banned oh. in our world. You can get in big trouble just for having that thing. Magic used to be a part of everyday life here like it is in our world. Now things have changed. The kingdom went and stole a part of our culture from us. Because they want to keep the magic power all to themselves. Well, if those royal jerkwads aren't going to give the people their magic back, then I guess we'll just have to go beat them up for it. What? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. If that's true, then why are you tagging along with us? What are you talking about? Ooh. You said you guys needed an escort to the capital. Okay, Dang. if you say so. They find us actually that's a good question it's time to try out my new magic no oh not to they've got shields another blast coming at you oh not to i told you that magic is limited here there's only a certain number of times that you're able to use it it's only good for one blast the output you just used it over a hundred times you idiot wow why is it so much more effective when they're using it here we must capture them at all costs. Yes, sir. Because, huh. like, even Nazis was, like, super effective. Well, we got away from the Royal Army, but now we're stuck in the city. What do we do now? Isn't there any other way out of here? Not that I know of. Found you, fairy tale. Yeah. Hey, let go of me. What the? Get Wait, what? Here. You're Lucy, aren't you? Yeah, I'm Lucy. Now get your grubby hands off me, you jerk. <gasps> I thought they were in the lacrima. Let go. We've got to save her. Yeah! Wait! He is a scorpion! Wait, Lucy! Scorpio! <laughs> the celestial world it gets to be access? Cause then Lucy's OP here. No way! Oh, how'd she do that? I missed you! Now I'm thoroughly confused. I'm really confused. <laughs> How is she not with the others? I thought they were in the lacrima. Why is she not in the lacrima? I'm so confused. Okay, so a lot to talk about in this episode. Number one, it seems like dragon slayers from our earth have a stronger attunement with magic. If I had to like think of how to describe it, because when we saw the shopkeeper using both the weapons that Wendy and Natsu had, you know, it was much more controlled, smaller burst type of thing. But when Natsu and Wendy used it, it was like they were sucking all of the magic that was in this item and just using it one burst, which is 
interesting to note because of the fact that since in our earth land magic is a much more you know free you know people are born with it type of thing they just are maybe used to pulling more magic out and just like tossing it willy-nilly where in edelis it's a lot more of this like you know we don't have magic so it's like a like turning a light switch on and off for them where you just you know are only doing what it can put out where for like a dragon slayer or maybe even anybody like gray or somebody like that who would use this weapon they would draw a lot more magic because that's just what they're used to doing or it might be like a dragon slayer only thing i'm not entirely sure but still really cool and interesting i like that there's like a black market for like magic items <laughs> i think it's kind of funny it's just kind of what happens sadly you know when things are banned forbidden you know there becomes this black market because people still want them they want to be able to defend themselves somehow some way so very interesting we've met a lot of the generals of the king which i'm going to guess they're all going to be relevant at some point and it seems like we're going to be in Edelus for a while. Especially because at first, I I didn't know how long we'd be here. But seeing the fact that Lucy is free, which is weird. Because I thought she was in the Lacrima with everybody else. And it was just going to be like a Dragon Slayer only mission. And then we'd spend time with like the people of Fairy Tail here in Edelus. But no, Lucy's here, which... Oh my gosh, number one, Lucy can use her celestial spirits, which I kind of was thinking, I don't know if I ever talked about it, but I was kind of thinking that because I was wondering if she could still call spirits since she is not take, I mean, it still takes some of her own magic. The spirits, since Lucy is so strong, like um, they can come through the portal themselves, you know, which I mean, at least that's kind of what Loki has said that he can, you know, use his own magic to come through if called upon. So it's very interesting because that means Lucy is going to be critical to freeing everybody because, oh my gosh, she's the only one who's going to be able to do any real magic. I know, um, scary Lucy, <laughs> Edelis Lucy has at least like, it was like a lightning whip type of thing. So helpful, but we're going to need Lucy. <laughs> we need Earthland Lucy badly for this mission. She is like our our little light of hope to be able to like crush these people. So interesting that Lucy will be our focal point as long as this is like our Lucy. Cause like, it seems like her, she's casting spirits. So I would assume it's her, but I don't, I don't know. Super weird, super interesting, but I like it. I like it a lot, but I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's all kind of spooky, scary, and like Ursa's not on our side. And as of right now, none of the other members of Edelis Fairy Tale have come to help us. Only Edelis Lucy. We did see Edelis Lizana. I guess if she's dead in the other world, we only have one Lizana. Lizana, at least, see, she was like, I don't know. I don't know. I I sincerely have no idea because she was okay. She was listening to Natsu. She didn't really react much. She kind of was just like standing there listening. She's like a, a little bit of facial reaction, but not much. And then she laughed, which is like the weirdest thing. Just kind of like walked away. So I don't know if it was something where like, maybe she knows something. Maybe she does not, but I don't know. I have no idea. The weird thing is she seems to still be the same, but we have not seen much of her like teeny bopper age, like right before she died. So I can't say for certain. I don't know how she is. She still seems weird as she always has been. So entirely possible, but it is odd because I'm like trying to think because Elfman never changed or Elfman stayed like a baby, a cry baby. Mira is still nice here. It's hard because that's how they became after Lizana's death. So if they were parallels, in theory, Lizana's death would have happened again. 
then again i don't know if like deaths have to like be you know tangential to the other world but like in theory you would think then they would flip the flop we'd have the aggressive mira and the manly man elf man i don't know like lasagna's there's a lasagna here i don't know i have no idea i'm like trying to think of things and like none of it's like making sense so i don't know but i'm liking it I'm a little sad because now we're not at the guild, so we're not going to see more Lizana. Hopefully we'll get more of her eventually. I don't really know how long this arc is. I know it's a bit, so maybe we will, but I don't know. I feel like Natsu has to have some time, some some moments with her, right? It's literally the girl he like was like, we're going to like be, you're like my wife and my, I'm your wife. You know, like he's got to got a just a little more care. I know we had a little bit, but like, you know, just a little bit more would make me happier. <laughs> but overall, this arc is very interesting so far. I'm excited to kind of get more into it to see what happens. And of course, to see how Lucy is free and if anybody else is free, because Lucy's OP right now. So amazing for us. But thank you guys so much for watching this with me. I really do appreciate it. Please make sure to use that little pinky finger to hit that like button to help out the channel. And I'll see you all later. Bye.